Welcome again everyone. It's been a while since we've had a video and I apologize for that. I've just been caught up in other things and it just doesn't go my way sometimes. So uh, if you can't tell already, we're building a gooseneck, but it's more like a step deck gooseneck if that makes any sense. Um, I have had this trailer for a little while. It's from what I understand a homemade trailer. I don't have a tag for it or anything. So I am modifying it and I'm going to um, get this tagged as a homemade trailer. Um, but when I got this thing, it was the pinnel hitch, and I wanted to I wanted to make it into a gooseneck, and I bought material for it probably two years ago. I got this trailer two years ago, at least, um, and it's just been sitting for a while because I haven't had time to work on it. But I need a trailer because I am doing some bartering with my other one, so therefore I need another trailer. But I didn't want to use it with the pinnel hitch. I wanted a I wanted a goose or a gooseneck slash step deck, so. I have a flatbed. This is going to go behind the uh, my black truck with the flag bed that if you guys remember way back on the channel we've been building for the second gen. It's not on the second gen now. It's on my fourth gen truck. But needless to say, this is going to go with the flatbed because, um, you know, this is about chest, chest level on me right here. But it's going to be up probably another five, five, six inches or so above that. Um, but... Anyhow, I wanted to build a trailer, 
and I didn't want to do just a regular old gooseneck because uh, I just wanted something practical to where I could haul more stuff up here. So that's that was the whole idea, and because I have a flatbed, it just kind of makes sense where I can get away with uh, making a you know a shallow, making this here shallow as far as the hitch height. So that's what I'm that's what I've been working on, and I haven't been videoing much because I've been having some d technical difficulties here with my uh, with my stand. It's a little uh, it's a little beat up from me running over with the tractor. So I've just been working welding. Um, I got everything welded out pretty much. I'm gonna add another support down here. I think um, I'm either going to add. I have some leftover eight inch channel. I'm gonna add another support here, or I'm gonna go find some. Um, I'm gonna find get. Some, I'm gonna get a piece of quarter inch plate, possibly depending on uh, if I want to pay the punishment price, but just cut out a piece on my table for reinforcement here. So this isn't going to stay like this. It's just temporary. Um, up here, we're going to keep the deck. We're going to continue the deck out just like we got it here. The deck is going to stay eight foot wide. And this here, I don't know what, somebody used this trailer for something specific because this is all, I mean, the chain, chain rub on here is pretty, uh, pretty good. Same thing here, it's got a kink in it. So possibly in the future, I might just go ahead and replace this whole rail. That way I can get rid of these weird pockets and then add a rub rail and stake pockets on the outside. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna add, we're gonna go three inch channel for the, for the cross members here, probably five inch channel on the sides. That's gonna be probably part two. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do any more on this, but I, I might do some more in the next day or two that I'll add into this video before I publish it. So you're not going to see that, but anyhow, this is what I'm working on. We are going to give away this, uh, we're going to give away the details of the, if you remember the uh, Yes Welder Plasma Cutter. So stick around to the end and I'll give you the details on how to enter to win that uh, machine. So stick around for that, but basically this is what, this is what we're, this is what we're dealing with. Um, this is eight inch channel and for those asking, you know, how'd you come up with the material size? And all I can tell you is I've seen other trailers with eight inch channel necks, so that's what I made it out of. Um, I don't, I'm not an engineer in that sense, but overall this, I added these here, um, braces in here to the hitch and it sturdied everything up. Um, this does not move now. The only thing that moves is the trailer itself when I pull this there's no there's no flex in this up here my camera died so I forget what we were talking about up here but moving on uh, my plan here as I said to have a deck that uh, is probably gonna be probably five inch channels what I'm gonna use for the out the out the perimeter of it um, so it's gonna be about five inches higher than this height is here um, the last thing that I'm going to change is the axles. I, these are mobile home axles. I do not want them. Um, to me, they're sketchy, and I just don't want to deal with them. So I'm going to find a set. I have a set of 7K axles um, that somebody gave me, but they're not the right um, they're not the right spring center for what this trailer is. So if I can find a good set, a good set of axles that are either a good deal in the right uh, spring center. I'll use those. If not, we'll use the ones we got. But possibly we may uh, put this on air, make it an air ride uh, trailer. Possibly. Um, and if we did that, I was I want to try to make it to where when I drop the air in it, that the back end sits on the ground. I don't need ramps. So maybe maybe uh, extend this out further. And uh, I don't know. That's that's just how. Uh, that's just a kind of goal of mine. I want a, I want a trailer that's air ride, and I want to be able to drop the air in it and just do away with the ramps. Drop the air, set set the back end on the ground, drive up whatever you need, and then raise it back up. To me, that's that's super. I mean, it's a simple design as far as uh, you know. Once you have air on the trailer and a few bags, I mean, a leveling valve, and you're off. You're off. You're off and running. So. We might do that if I can't find a good deal on axles because we all know that prices are ridiculous right now. And if I can't, um, I, sh I should have most of what I need to, you know, minus airbags to, to make a to make a setup. So we might do that. And actually, could I could probably rob airbags off an old truck I got somewhere laying around. 
Um, so we'll see what happens there, but my main goal now is to see if I can find some axles and get the this tongue finished up up here. Um, I'm also, I gotta cut this down here more. It's gonna interfere. I cut it down already some, but I need to cut it down some more so it'll clear my uh, top deck whenever it goes on. So um, that's it for now. I'm gonna go hook it up to my truck and see what that looks like. And then I will, it may not be tonight, but I will let you guys know how you can enter to win that plasma cutter. So stick around just in a second. Been a few days since the last clip and we've started to get some parts in. We got the jacks, axles, uh, got some rims for the trailer. I did. I found a pretty good deal on these axles here. They were, they were six ninety five um, out the door. So I just went ahead and and, and went that route. They're sp they're slipper uh, slipper springs. Got a nice heavy duty kit there. And these were fifty bucks a piece. Found a good deal on those. So we're almost ready here, waiting on a few miscellaneous pieces, um, waiting on some tires for these, and there's something else I'm forgetting. But in the next video, we will be putting all this, hopefully uh, getting everything dialed in on the trailer. I've got these here gussets cut that I cut out on the table. Um, they are going on the trailer. So that will be coming up also. And last but not least, now is your chance to win this here Yes Welder Cut 65. It's been uh, out here in the shop. It's a little bit dirty, but still works nonetheless. And I want to make it real simple. There's a link in the description. Go ahead, click the link. I think it's just going to ask you for your name and email, and that's it. You're entered. Um, I'm going a, an easier route this time and actually using a uh, like a third party um, giveaway service. So it should be a lot easier and help help me figure out how to get it done faster and all that. So. Uh, it's going to last from now until the end of July, July 31st at, I guess, midnight is when it expires. Um, so if you want to, to get entered, all you got to do is hit the uh, link in the description below, and then it'll get you entered in to win this thing. So thanks for watching, everyone. Stick around for, uh, not stick around, but we'll see you in the next video, and we'll be getting a lot more done on this trailer, which I'm super pumped about. So appreciate it, and we'll see you all in the next video. Thanks, guys.